Hello everyone and welcome to Northern Brewer University, Northern Brewer's catalog of online courses designed to help home brewers learn more about the processes and methods used in brewing to help you make the best beer possible at home. I am Chip Walton, I will be your host for this class. This course is one of the ongoing Brewing to Style series in which we look at an individual beer style one at a time, look at what makes it unique, and show you the best way to make it at home. This course is on Imperial Stouts, those big decadent beers that often take hoppy and roasty flavors to 11. They are extremely popular, especially during the fall and winter months for their rich body and boozy warming qualities. They also age well, so they make a good gift for friends, family, or that beer nerd buddy with an epic seller of vintage beers. This course begins with a quick look at the history and current state of the style. We'll also look at the BJCP style guidelines to get a baseline understanding of the ingredients and flavor profile of the beer. Then it's time to brew. Before we move into the course's homebrew demonstrations though, we want to get a professional brewer's perspective. Because we know homebrewers are generally interested in also hearing how craft brewers approach specific styles. So we visit Ben Smith, head brewer at Surly Brewing Company, which is home to the very popular imperial stout called Darkness. Ben sets the scene as he talks about brewing these big beers on a commercial scale and surly strategy for the many barrel aged and flavored variants the breweries turned out over the years. After this discussion with Ben, we present two brewing demonstrations that go very in depth on making Imperial Stouts at home. In our first brewing lesson, Northern Brewers head development brewer, Brad Siegel, brews up our Dragon Silk Imperial Stout beer recipe kit and he discusses a whole list of things to take into consideration when planning to brew such a massive beer. This includes scale of equipment, yeast health, brewing water adjustments, mash thickness, longer sparging and boil times, plus tips for fermentation. Then we step into the all-electric basement brewery of award-winning home brewer Sean Bader to brew his coffee, vanilla, cinnamon imperial stout. Sean shares two methods for creating and adding unique flavors to your home-brewed imperial stout using whole ingredients or homemade tinctures. If this online course on imperial stout sounds like something you'd like to take part in, see the class link in the video description or visit northernbrewer.com university.